reliable, shatter-resistant and perfectly balanced. Laboratory-grade, stress-free glass. State-of-the-art connection process used WTH food-grade polymeric materials eliminates the need for vinyl gaskets. Precise design mold stands up to rigors of temperature adjustments, day after day. Unique high temperature printing process for logo applications so images will retain their design integrity through heavy use and washing. Reliable, shatter resistant and perfectly balanced. Laboratory grade, stress free glass. State of the art connection process used WTH food grade polymeric materials eliminates the need for vinyl gaskets. Precise design mold stands up to rigors of temperature adjustments, day after day. Product built to North American electrical standards. The Bund 42400.010112 cup glass coffee decanter with its black handle is designed for continuous use, serving coffee for many years. Drip proof, fast and clean pouring from the front, assures convenient serving. The decanter is constructed of materials approved by NSF for potable water applications. Top reviews from the United States. What's not to like? A bun coffee pot for my 30-year-old bun pour matic No problems here. BTW, they used to tell you if you boil these things dry, to pitch them out. I never heard of anything so insane. Glass can take the temperatures any of those burners can dish out without harm. Here is what you do if you ever cook slash boil them dry, set it aside on a surface that won't thermally shock the pot, i.e., if it is STLL hot, don't put it on a cold surface. A surface that will let it cool on its own in a normal way. After it is cooled, you can take a utensil and knock out the majority of the crusty coffee, the most important part is to never, ever scratch or scour the glass. Never scratch it, or scrape it with anything metal. You don't even need to remove the dried coffee but you will find most of it will readily fall out if you just lightly touch it and the more you remove, the quicker the next step will be. Pour bleach in the pot. You can use as little as one quarter cup and add water to cover the dried coffee or for faster results use undiluted bleach. Depending on how much coffee is left in the pot, this step can take as little as 10 minutes or as much as 45. You will only need to do this once. When the bleach has dissolved the coffee, rinse with water. The bleach will all rinse out easily and you won't smell any of it after a few rinses and shakes. If you're paranoid, pour a few drops or a little detergent with ammonia in it, dilute with water, swish it around rinse, but you really don't need to do that. Enjoy your pot. I have boiled pots dry for 20 years and used them over and over without issue.